Hello, um, I'm Farnaz, and I'm a postdoc working with Gabriel Kreiman and Jeremy Wolf. I'll be talking about a computational model of visual, hybrid visual search. So most of the visual search studies that we are familiar with uh, involve a single target. And typically, the task to study visual search in the lab ranges from simple signal detection tasks, such as looking for a vertical red bar among distractors, to something more complex, like looking for a cancerous lesion in a mammogram. But what if we have more than one item? What if we are searching for more than one item, such as if you're in a grocery store and you have a list of items in your mind? Um, that's what we're calling hybrid search, and I'll illustrate this using a demo. Please memorize these four objects. In the next display, um, I, I'll show you a, a screen, a search screen, where you will search for any one of these four objects. So are you ready? Clap when you find one of the targets. Fantastic. <laughs> so uh, we were interested in two questions. So when, when you're looking at these kind of search displays and you have multiple items in your mind, are your eye movements guided by the target features or are you making random eye movements? And what is your brain doing with the features of these multiple targets? How is the top-down uh, signal computed? So first we collect some psychophysical data. We uh, ask participants to memorize either one, two, or four targets. That's what we're calling the memory set size. And then they see a search array of either six or eight items, and they have to report whether the target was present or absent. So in the target present trials, there, is, um, there was only a single target present. Here is the results for that. On the y-axis, you have uh, cumulative performance. And on the x-axis, you have the number of fixations. And uh, that's the chance line. So basically, if you're making random eye movements, all your data would fall on the chance line. And here's the data when you have a single target, in your, uh, when you're memorizing a single target. So it's way above the chance line. Your search is guided. And if you have two or four targets, uh, your search is still guided because these data uh, is above the chance line, but the guidance is less. So it is clear that search is guided for a single target, but visual search seems to be also guided for two or four things. And it's not clear how our brain uses the features of multiple targets uh, to do hybrid visual search. So we used a computational model to try out different strategies we might be using. And the choice of the computational model could be something as simple, modified HMAX model, or some CNN-based model, but it should be able to do visual search. That is, it should be able to take in uh, the images of the targets that you're looking for and a search array and create a priority map or a heat map where the different locations are highlighted by the different target features. And the model will pick the locations that uh, has the highest value. It's a winner-take-all approach. So um, it's still not clear what do you do when you have multiple targets. Well, one thing you can do is create a separate priority map, one for each target. <laughs> And then there's a couple of strategies you can employ. One of them is a stupid strategy. That is, if you're a lazy participant, you don't want to memorize all the targets. Um, you, you just randomly select, like, I'll just memorize the barrel uh, or the hat, and select that particular priority map and look for the target. So this strategy will, of course, you know, you'll have a success rate of 50% with these two, uh, with a memory set size of two. And we see that the model fails uh, for memory set sizes two and four. The performance is near chance line. Another thing you can do is you could maintain the separate priority maps and you can cycle them, uh, cycle between them. That is, with every eye movement, uh, you select a priority map of a different object, target object. And um, this strategy works. Uh, you see the same performance gradient as you see in the humans. And uh, humans are, of course, performing better, better but uh, that depends on the model that you're using. I'm showing you data from the simple model. Another strategy could be you don't want to maintain separate priority maps, but combine them or average them together into a single map. And this, and then do your search. And that strategy also works. It mimics human behavior. So in summary, we started with the question, are eye movements guided during hybrid visual search? And the answer is yes. I've shown you two strategies that mimics human performance. And um, the model says, according to the uh, modeling strategies, you either cycle between the different targets, you, have, you maintain separate priority maps, or you could be combining the priority maps together 
um, into a single map, or it could be some combination of both these strategies. Thank you.